welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and today we're going to be reviewing the Word of Life Bible devotionals. We have used these devotionals for probably, I want to say maybe three or four years now um, and my kids really, really like them. They come in a variety of grade levels. Today I'm going to show you all of the different ones that they have to offer so that you can see um, hopefully which ones will fit your family the best. So let's go ahead and just start out with the early learners ages four to six. So this is kind of what it looks like. It comes in this nice thick spiral here. And then the pages inside look like this. And of course they go Monday through Sunday and they've got fun activities for younger learners. They've got a Bible verse up here that you can read together. Then down here um, they have just some little details on the story that you're gonna be reading through. Um, and then down here they have a fun little activity. A lot of these are coloring or little simple mazes. Um, for example, this one you color Esau green and Jacob blue. Um, so they're super easy. Uh, they're all nice. And colorful and then down here at the very bottom they have a little um, guide to help you pray for that day so for this one it says to thank God for each one of your family members and so these are really super cute I'll flip through these just so you can kind of get a see what in a sample week looks like so that's a Sunday um, they are double-sided so here's Tuesday and then Wednesday and they're literally going through the Bible so this particular one is in Genesis. We're just at the beginning of the book here. This one has them circling things or drawing pictures. They're all very easy. These are super cute. I would say they really only take an average of maybe five to ten minutes a day and it really just kind of depends on how much time you want to um, spend. You can definitely get into a little bit more discussion as you're reading through these but they're really um, kind of like bite-sized chunks for um, younger kiddos. Again this one was from ages four to six and it's just super cute. There are, I believe, 365, I think it's a whole year in here, so 365, and like I said, they're just listed as Monday through Sunday, so you can do these every day. You don't have to just do them on school days. The next one we have here is for grades one and two, and they're similar, but they're just a little bit more in depth. They've got some information here on the front. Um, this one just kind of shows you how to use the pages. And then it just kind of helps you to um, encourages you to start a personal prayer diary to spend um, time with God throughout your day. Um, the things you can pray about. This one suggests friends and family, missionaries, um, how to give praise and thanksgiving, and then just encourages that you can talk to God about anything. And they do have a little prayer request thingy here, and a um, is there a journal in this one? I think that might be in the older kids one. Yeah, this one is mostly prayer requests, and it talks about the prayer that you had and how your prayer was answered, what you're thankful for, and what you are praising God for during that time. And then it starts out like this, and each day is one of those little boxes, as you can see. So here's like a Sunday box, and much like the other ones, I'll kind of flip through because they're all a little bit different, but each day up here at the top they have a verse that you can go through. Um, just a little bit of information on that verse and how you can apply it to your life. And then here's just a little activity that your students can do. And then of course here's kind of a guided prayer at the end. And of course you can pray anything that you want. It just gives your kiddos ideas of what they can do. And as you can see as I'm flipping through this, they really have, let's see, go this way, a ton of different activities that they do each day. And then this one has, as you can see, 52 weeks of activities. So again, for the whole year. So you don't have to just do these on school days. You can do them um, all seven days of the week. All right, here is the next level up, and this is grades three and four. And this one's gonna look very similar again. Um, it's got the prayer requests in the front, a little bit of information on how to use your devotion and then again 52 weeks worth of activities these activities will be just a little bit harder than the ones in the previous level um, but layout is basically the same so you've got your um, verse up here that you're reading a little bit of information and what you can do with that and then on the bottom it has a get started section and it's kind of like a little motivation for you for each day um, just to kind of get you started for your day I do encourage that the kids do these first thing in their 
their morning before they start all their regular studies because I do find that it helps give them a little bit of a better attitude for the rest of the day. Um, and then at the beginning of each week, they have just a little kind of a Bible fact on here as well, which is really cool. And then of course, they're encouraged to pray at the end of each of their devotions as well. But as you can see, the ones for grades one and two and three and four are very similar in layout. Um, and they just kind of vary based on difficulty of each assignment, just so they're appropriate for each grade level. Okay, moving on, this one is for grades five and six, and these are their quiet time devotionals, one year daily devotional, and these are the ones that my kids um, do. My youngest will be doing this this year. She is in grade five, um, and I usually do repeat this, so next year I'll probably get her the same book for grade six for next year, uh, just because as you go through, I mean, that's 365 days worth of studies, and then when you get back and you um, kind of go through it again, you might have different circumstances in your life at that time, and so I think that they're still applicable to repeat. So it has a little introduction here at the front, just like the other ones. It's got a personal prayer diary in here, which is nice. And again, kind of information on encouraging you to spend time with God. And they also have a prayer request section as well. And it's very similar prayer requests, um, praises, thanks, and God's answer for that. And there's quite a few pages of that in the beginning of this, um, encouraging your kiddos to, uh, you know, keep track of their prayers because I think it's really important if, you know, a lot of times we're praying, we forget about things, we, and then, you know, God might answer them a long time down the road. And then we can go back and say, oh, wow, he really did just might not have been immediate like I was hoping but God did answer that prayer um, and then the weeks look a little bit different as you'll see from the uh, lower grade levels these ones are definitely a little bit more uh, guided so as you can see up here they've got some facts information um, this one is trials and temptations and then down here is the verse that they're going to be reading and then here are some fill in the blank questions as they do the reading this is really great to um, actually prove that they did do their Bible study that day I don't usually read their answers too in depth but I do just flip through to make sure that they did do their study each day so they kind of turn this into me just like they would any um, other assignment. And then down here on the bottom, they have a Libet section. Um, it has a different um, section of that verse where it focuses on ways that they can make this applicable to their lives today, which I think is really important for um, younger readers and for us actually. Um, and then again, another kind of fill in the blank question down here. And then a prayer or a guided prayer. Now, of course, I always tell my kids they can pray whatever they want during this section, but some days they are having a hard time and this is really nice. I think it gives them just a direction of how to pray for that day especially grades five and six. It really kind of wraps up the study for them and just kind of solidifies everything. And again, I do encourage them to do this study first. And this again, just like all the other studies, each day is a little bit different. As you can see, some days are activities, some days are fill in the blank type of things. Every now and then they have a game. Um, they just make them a little bit different each day. And there are thought-provoking questions in here to make the Bible applicable to their daily lives, which I think is great. And little facts and tidbits here as they read through. Again, this is a full year study, seven days a week, 365 days a year. All right, the next one that they have is called Quiet Time Interactive for Teens. And this is probably what I'm going to be having my 10th grader do this year. This one has the same kind of information, pages at the beginning, how to use it, um, you know, how to, uh, like encourage them to improve their prayer life. They've got a prayer list. As you can see, these ones are blank pages so they can really kind of fill it in however they prefer. It's not quite as guided. And then the study pages look like this. And the questions obviously get a little bit harder as they get older. One of the reasons that I like this for my teens at this point is because again, they're still a guided study through whatever passage of scripture they're reading for that day. There are some fill in the blank questions. There are questions about how they can apply it to their lives today. They encourage you to pray on it every day. And then down here at the bottom for this one is called a share it section. And it just encourages them to share whatever they learned for, um, from their study that day with someone else, whether it's a friend or with me or their dad or each other. Um, and sometimes we'll even talk about this. I'll just say, hey, how was your study today? What did you go through? What did you learn? Um, and it just gives us a little bit of conversation and just lets me know that they're kind of thinking critically about this and just how they can apply it to their life. They also have this uh, weekly action sheet and it says write down action st um, steps you can take to live out your faith or what you've learned this week and so they kind of have a little guided 
section for them at the end of each week as well, which I think is kind of nice. It wraps up their study each week. And then in the back here, they have a scheduling option that kind of tells you exactly what they go through each week. So if you wanted to do them out of order, you could definitely do that if you wanted to get into a specific book at a specific time, especially if you were using this in a group setting and not necessarily in a homeschool setting like we are. We tend to just start at the beginning of the year, um, wherever, whatever week we start school, and we just go all the way around until school hits again next year. So these are probably one of my favorite devotions for teens so far. I feel like they're very thought provoking. I like that they're still guided. Um, and like I said, we've used these for a couple years and so far we've really enjoyed them. And then the last one I have is the Quiet Time with Commentary for Teens and Adults. This one is for um, someone who might like to have a little bit more freedom. The studies in here aren't quite as guided like you saw in the last one I just showed you. The fill in the blank questions and answers are not included in this one. It does have the same kind of introduction in the front. They talk about um, how to share their faith. They talk about um, you know prayer, their prayer life. They again have a prayer journal. But then the daily studies look like this. And up here at the top, they've got the verse that they're going to be reading, of course, the date um, and the week that they're on. Down here, they've got a little section um, where they can write what they think the writer of this passage is talking about, what are they trying to say. Right down here, they can write how they can apply that to their life. This section in the middle here is a little guided prayer section, and they're actually praying. I kind of flipped through this quickly. It looks like they're praying for different countries. And then down here is the commentary section. So this is, like I said, the one with commentary. It kind of helps break down the passage for your student or even for you um, and just give you a little bit more understanding of areas of that passage. And then down here on the very bottom, they have what's called a life step. And these are all different. I flip through this and every single day they have a different um, thing down here. It's kind of an encouragement for you on how you can either uh, apply this passage to your life, how you can encourage someone else, something you could um, tangibly do to help improve or increase your faith. So every day is going to be a little bit of a variety for them, which I really like. And then again, at the back of this one, they have the quiet time schedule as well. Um, you can schedule this out however you want. These are great to use in groups. That was actually what they were written for. Um, a lot of churches use these and so we just use them as our independent study and my kids just start on day one. We do one every single day until we get to the end of the year and then we get a new one and start all over. So these are the three that we're probably going to be using this year. My oldest will probably do the commentary one. Um, I haven't fully decided on that. I might let her look at it and see if she would prefer the kind of fill in the blanks or the commentary. My other two middle kiddos will be using this fill in the blanks teens one and then my fifth grader will be using this fifth and sixth grade level. Um, we have, like I said, used these for several years. We've really enjoyed them and they were kind enough this year to send me a copy of all their different levels just so that I can show them to you so you guys can kind of see what's in them. I will put a link in the bottom um, underneath this video right here in the description box where you can get these. It's wolstore.org and then you just click on, I think it's um, devotionals or daily devotions or something and then you'll see all of the different grade levels um, that you can purchase and then I just purchased one um, for each student and then we have our Bible study for the whole year. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. That way I know to keep making these videos for you. Thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you next time.